Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. I'm a Forex trader, I'm a Forex trainer, and I'm more than willing to help you on this journey. It has been a minute, I know, but I'm back again. For me, I have felt so many good comments on how my teachings have improved so many people, uh, their journey to Forex, and I have decided, let me go back to teaching you and sharing information. And I believe by me sharing you, sharing this information, someone will be helped. So today I want us to learn three things to master in forex trading. Let me tell you, the months that I have been away from uh, YouTube and I have been backtesting, trading, and uh, being just with the chat, I have really learned a lot, guys. If I can only come to everyone and help them to understand this forex market, I can. Like I'm more than willing to help everyone to master this journey because it is not easy on your own. Just get this journey is not easy. Anyway, I don't want to, to talk so much. I just want us to go to three things to master in Forex trading. So this will be part one. Uh, I, would, I don't want to make this video too long. I want this video to be the first thing to master. And then uh, we can do another video and another video so that by the time we are done with the three things, at least we are somewhere. So I will talk of the first thing. The first thing, guys, to master is your entry. Hey, I don't know how well I can tell you guys. You see entry, when to enter. When to enter. If I have to write a book, I can write a book. When to enter the market. If I if I can I can write a book I can write so many paragraphs so many pages on how to enter the market because this is the first and this is the first thing that will either make you or break you this is what makes your account by making profit or break you by losing and I know I'm talking to two different categories I'm talking to someone who is being introduced to forex. They have not known how it feels. The pain it comes by trying to analyze entering the market and then going against you. There are those categories of people. You have really tried for it. And I know I'm talking to you. The reason why you have clicked this video is for you to have an encourager, for you to have someone at least to walk, to walk with you. I know you have tried this journey of attempting to enter the market. You fund your account. Once you fund your account, um, you buy GBPUSD and the market sell. You sell GBPUSD, the market buys. You wait again, you do the same thing, either you interchange and the market keeps going against you. That one I understand. There are this category of people is the time that they are mastering the Forex. They have had the good thing, the bad thing. Maybe they have had Forex is a scam, they are not sure. And maybe they saw this video, they clicked, let me tell you, either you have been disappointed, either you it is your first time, let me tell you, when you watch me and you watch my videos, at least you'll have a ground. That's one I can promise you. So if you have not subscribed, click the subscription box below and uh, the bell, you put it on notification, make me hit 100,000 subscribers. And I know it is easy to do that, okay? So for me, I know that, I am here to work with everyone on a journey. And this journey, it is easy. I just need to tell you three things to master in Forex trading. Number one, when to enter the market. Don't forget. Don't forget this first thing. Because when to enter the market, it comes down to what strategy are you using? What strategy are you using? What strategy are you using? Anytime someone asks you, why are you buying? Why are you selling? Because the strategy that you're using will give you a go ahead of selling or a go ahead of buying. You see, selling or a go ahead of buying. So, Yes, you have a strategy, but the question is, this strategy, have you mastered it well, that when it gives you a signal buy, 
it, it, the market gives you the profits, the pips, if it tells you sell. And sometimes we may test out strategies and we may test out and, and some people they use indicators others use pure price action, others use patterns, whatever you are using. The question is, what tells you to enter the market? Have you even asked yourself that question? And I believe the reason why maybe you are failing in this Forex market is because you don't have a defining of this is my entry. What triggers my entry? What makes me know that it's time to enter the market? Or you just wake up, you just see, Marubozu candle, a green bullish candle, you buy. Or you see a bearish red candle, you sell. Or you put moving average if they cross, the one is up. The way we we, we have got information on, on YouTube on, on how to enter, is that what you check? Have you backtested the strategy? Are you even confident enough that this is what I use? And if, if, if you are confident enough, have you tested it multiple times? So anytime I talk of how to enter, we will get into it. And this is why I tell majority of people, I teach in my personal mentorship, which has recorded videos, or you come to Kenya, if you're not in Kenya, you enter in my class. I give people eight profitable strategies. When I talk of eight profitable strategies, for me, I, I want you to comment down below and tell me, what do you use to enter the market? Let's engage, let's converse. Because the conversation, you will, you will see, by the way, I think my entry has been messing up. Because when students come and enroll in my mentorship, the first question I ask them, because you have been trading, what have you been trading? Because you have been placing trades, what triggers you to, tra to place the trade? So I will start. My first strategy I teach my students is OPP strategy. And this one is even in the public. I will be teaching you this. This one is uh, from the student and even for the public student, I can, I can teach you strategy. So OPT strategy, I will be teaching you, at least if you have OPT strategy, you can say, by the way, I learned OPT strategy from Esther Mofri's class. So there is OPT strategy. Number two, I teach my student BWA strategy. I want to challenge you. And then number three, I teach my student RBV strategy. Strategy. I want you to comment down below and let me know exactly what do you use to enter? What triggers your entry? RBV strategy. And then from RBV, we have RWR strategy. From RB, RWR, RWR strategy. And then we go to BRC strategy, strategy. From the BRC strategy, we go to BBR strategy. From that, we go to CRB. This one is in the public. I think majority of you know it. And then the CSB strategy. And then I have two new strategies. I have been working on in that time I have been offline. The new strategies that I have been working on is BTB strategy and RWC strategy. Strategy. Now, the question is, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then plus nine, ten. So these are the newest strategies in the town, newest strategies. Now I want to, ch to challenge you. You can imagine, before me I get an entry, the market has to give me this confirmation. I have to get these confirmations from these strategies because they are intertwined, they work together. And that's what I'm saying, what do you use? What do you use, guys? And you see, I have come to realize that you can, you can teach someone all these strategies and they will pick RWR strategy. They will only wait for it to happen. You can teach everyone all the 10 strategy, they will pick BTB strategy because it is, it's like intertwined in a way, but you can pick the one that you want, but all of them are important. The one that you cannot separate is OPT and BWA and RBV. Like they are, they are all intertwined. 
And that's why I keep saying, when you subscribe to my mentorship program, let's say you come to my course, a uh, class, or you buy my course, someone will ask me, Esther, why do you charge a thousand dollars? Because the course right now, if you didn't know, it's a thousand dollars. So someone will ask, why do you charge a thousand dollars? Per strategy is a hundred dollars. Any strategy I teach you is a hundred dollars. Okay. So if I'm teaching you 10 strategies, of course, 10 times a hundred is a thousand. But because my strategies are intertwined, is like it's like baking a cake. You need all the ingredients before you mix, um, you get the paste and you mix, you will need all the ingredients together. So there's no way I can give you. You go with CSB strategy, you pay $100. I will have denied you all this because they're intertwined. And that's how I came to $1,000. So I want to help you to understand sometimes a strategy to get a strategy to start uh, building your entry can cost you. But because maybe you're watching me and you don't have $1,000, that's why I will be teaching other strategies. I will be teaching here patterns I will be teaching, I can teach move leverage. I can teach, um, it's called what? Order block, uh, the, the ICT. I will be teaching all those because at the end of the day, we are getting the same results. But you need to understand what I believe, what I trade is the 10 strategies that I teach on my mentorship class. So let's say now this is a thousand dollars. And if you want, to subscribe or to buy the course. The only thing you can do, I have noticed there are so many scammers out there pretending to be me. So many scammers, don't be scammed by the way. For me, I don't invest uh, for people and I don't uh, ask for people for money. If you have to buy my course, reach me on this number. And because uh, it's international now, I have to write it, uh, I have to write, with the plus. So if you want to buy my course, and I have to do this to avoid scammers, you know, scammers are everywhere in the comments, in Instagram, on TikTok. So if you want to reach me, this is my number 254-700-34406. That is my number. So when you reach me, you will get the details. The course is $1,000, 12 modules, all the strategies are there. If you don't have the money, that's why we are here. So if you want to learn for free, keep watching. So when to enter the market, let's go back there. When to enter the market, I hope you have texted. I hope you have, you have commented what you use and does it work for you? And in a rate of, let's say we will give a uh, hundred percent. How much, do, is it 70% win rate? Is it 80, is it 95? Is it 100? You can give us that. So let's say we are looking how to enter. Let me delete. We are looking how to enter the market. Um, I have said my number is plus 254-700-344-066. I don't trade for anyone. I don't do investment for anyone. I don't deal with Bitcoins. If, if you hear someone saying that, just know they are scammers. Let's say this is your market. Now, Majority of people, because they don't have strategies, they will tend to think that this market is on a downtrend and they will start looking for sell because it's creating high, high, uh, low highs and uh, low lows. So they will say this market is on a downtrend. So I'm looking to sell. OK, so majority of people, they have heard on Internet or on YouTube that the trend is your friend. So majority of people, because they have had the, the, the trend is your friend they will come and just place a trade. And let me tell you, if you go, this is four hour. This is a chart on four hour. Again, entry, hey, if you guys know what, what, uh, how, what it takes to become a professional trader or a consistent trader, you need to combine so many things. You can have a very good strategy, but the time frame is wrong. So someone who is trading on four hour, they have a clear indication of, on what the market is right now. But someone will go to five minutes. You see, the candle that we have right now is a spinning top, a rejection candle. Can you see? The, the green candle is rejection. We have a week on top. 
So this is a rejection candle. So me, when I come on four hour and see this rejection candle, I will not react. But if you're on a five minute time frame, the market has started to sell. So if you come on this market or if you come on um, five minutes, and that's why many people make mistakes because you will go lower time frame and you will see the market has started to, to go down. So you will make a, you will make a, a mistake of saying, let me enter. Or someone will use even 15 minutes. When they use 15 minutes, they will say, oh, I have a bearish end gulf. You see, I have this bearish end gulf. Let me put a sell. I want to show you why you really make mistakes. So they will say, because I have bearish end gulf, I am entering a sell. Why did they? Why were they looking entry on 15 minutes? Is because they concluded on the four hour, the market is a long term sale. And they had, you should, you should always follow the trend. So this particular person, they don't trade from a point of having a unique strategy. They trade because in fact, everyone is trading like that. If you trade like that, my friend, you might lose big time because Time frame really matters even in your entry. And this is something that I will be discussing. When I, and I, when I tell people that what you pay that $1,000, I'm teaching you from understanding time frame, understanding candles, understanding formation of the candlestick, understanding uh, how the market moves, understanding all these things, building it together and giving you 10 strategies, at least work with those 10 strategies and help yourself. But sometimes someone we may see a thousand dollars is a lot, and what they will do, they will just judge this market is a downtrend, then go to lower time frame on fifteen minutes, and guess what? They will find a bearish end gap, and this person will do what? They will sell, and when this person uh, is selling, this is what happened. This person will enter sell right now. I want to show you how literally people trade, and you see. So they will sell and this will be their target, this area. So they are selling because uh, this market has been, even if they, they squeeze like this, they will say this is a pattern, this is a ranging, the market has been on a downtrend. You can see the sell is screaming, sell, sell, sell. But you see, if you don't have, um, if you don't have enough, uh, enough evidence why you are doing what you're doing, that's why the problem comes in. Okay, so this person will sell and look what happened to that market. The market will hit their take profit. Can you see? The market will hit their take profit <clears throat> of, let's say, 22 pips. But this person will continue. So that one was a win. So let's see up to here. This one was a win. And this person will say, oh, I have won. Hey, the market has sold because of bearish and gaff. Now I will sell again because the bearish and gaff gave me money. This one is a marubozu candle and it has already broken my support. This person trading on 15 minutes. Yes, they have made, they have made how many pips? They have made, uh, the TP was 24 pips. This person again will come and sell. And when they sell, they will stake a lot of, uh, they will stake a lot of lot size. So at the beginning, the sell seem good because their strategy is not that. You see, there's someone who doesn't have a very good strategy. They don't have rules on their strategy. They don't have why they are just selling. They are selling because they have seen a red candle, the market breaking. That is not enough, guys. So if this person again try to sell, what happens is that the market turns against them and they lose a lot of money. So the question is, guys, how can we avoid this? I will show you an entry level that is very easy for everyone to understand. For me, the first rule for entry level, if you want to master an entry level, anyone who is listening to me, avoid lower time frame. That is the first rule. Because any lower time frame, you'll make money now, and then in the afternoon you lose. You'll make money today, in the afternoon you lose. So I tell people, avoid lower time frame. Stick to four hour and daily because as a beginner, you may not go wrong with higher time frame. So I will tell you two things. Number one, avoid and understand that avoid lower time frame. So stop uh, trading on 15 minutes time, time frame. 
time time frame avoid lower time frame why are you avoiding lower time frame because you will get so much data and it won't hold water lower time frame are for scalpers if you if you're not planning to stay on your laptop 24 7 or 24 5 from monday to friday avoid lower time frame number two have one strategy at a time so so if i come and i, I have said avoid what's happening we have said avoid lower time frame use four hour or daily those are your time frame for now more so four hour use four hour a lot so avoid lower time frame use four hour or daily now the 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 the, the strategy that i want you to understand is arranging strategy like this one when the market create a range like this on a lower time frame so when the market create a range you can start from here when the market create a range is you understand what i teach about how support is created how resistance is created if you don't know go to my previous videos a range is where the market has touched twice so you will have your support and support will be touched twice can you see? So that creates a range. You will have a resistance and resistance will touch twice. So you will be waiting for where the market will touch twice and this twice and wait for the market to break. So if I am waiting for the market to break, can you see that candle? Let me remove it. Imagine on all our time frame from three hour, two hour, 30 minutes, the market showed you that that candle broke. You can see how it broke, but by the time the four hours was elapsing, the candle had not broken. The, 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 the ranging had not broken. That's the power of higher time frame. So it will take four hours to tell you for sure if the market has broken. So that is targeting. And then immediately, you can imagine anyone who was on lower time frame. Let's look at two hours, uh, one hour. Majority of people use. 15 minutes, 30 minutes. So majority of people will use lower time frame to for, for entry. So by the time you're using lower time frame for, for entry of sale, the ranging has told you to sell. And you can see if this Marubozu candle has broken a range, you can start building this as your strategy. And let's see what happened to this market. The market has been buying. Can you see? The market has been buying. Now, if you attempted to say, oh, it's a downtrend, there's something called change of character. There's something called the market now wants to change. This can be a retracement of that market. It is called deep retracement. These are things that you will learn or reversal. This can be a reversal because the market almost came to this, uh, this area. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that have you mastered your entry? Have you mastered your entry? So anytime, anytime you see arranging, this is arranging, guys. I have told you, anywhere you have, uh, can you see? Anywhere you have uh, a support or a resistance, can you see the market broke? So if they broke, even if you targeted from here, you targeted, uh, even 50 pips, it went 70 pips. Any ranging has money. If this is the ranging, and I want to show you that strategy of ranging. The strategy of ranging has money. If you see the market ranging on four hour and you put this box and it dares to break on the resistance on the upper side, you will make your own money. Imagine you'll make money. If you come here and see this market is ranging like this. So this market has been ranging and it breaks here. These three candles you're seeing here, this is a lot of money, guys. This is 50 pips. So at the end of the day, that is one of the strategies that I can teach you. Practice on it, and I can do more of it, of ranging how to trade a ranging market. Ranging market is a place where it has been tested twice. So if the market has tested twice, just know that is a ranging market anyway. Let's, uh, on the next video, I will be teaching you on the second thing to master. 
today we have really emphasized on the entry and have told you my number one rule is avoid lower time frame. Anyway, guys, all the best. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.